We went to Yorkville Library. We walked at least once a week to the Children's Library, which is downstairs. I presume it's still there. The original Yorkville Library is there, but I don't know whether the Children's Library is still underneath. And the librarian there was a um, Lillian Smith, and the major Children's Library, reference library, is Lillian Smith. And um, so my mother, uh, she, she took us there and we were take, taken into the back. Talk about, uh, talk about I don't know what, but anyway, we were taken into the back because we were clean, well-behaved children and we got to use a special kind of library, take out the clean library books, the new library books, whereas the, the other people had just to go into the first part. And, and I, interesting enough, when I went to Rosedale Public School, the, um, the library, there was no library teacher. There was a librarian who came from the libraries and manned the library at the school. And it, the, she happened to be Lillian Smith. And so I helped out, uh, I remember in grade five and six, um, evidently I was chosen or offered or whatever I don't know exactly what but anyway I helped her out of the library and that's when she asked me if I would like to come over and help with Saturday morning story hour I was probably about 11 or 11 or 12 or so and I went over to Yorkville library and then I started working at the library and that's when I worked after school at the, li at the library um, my mother, I always thought of her uh, very grateful for the parents that I had because they had different priorities, but my mother gave me my love of music and my love of reading and literature. <laughs>